Hello and welcome to Sketch Together. My name is Paolo Stanley and this is a crash course on Principle for Mac. Principle is a great tool for creating user interface animations and prototypes. On this session, we're going to learn how to use continuous interactions like dragging, scrolling, and paging, which creates uh, really cool prototypes and really cool uh, gestures on your, on your ideas. So let's go ahead and do that. There are three common interactions that are built into principle. These ones are dragging, scrolling, and page scrolling. And these can be found here when you select uh, on the inspector, when you select a layer or a group, you can uh, enable them here horizontally or vertically. And uh, let's start with scrolling. And a scrolling can be enabled here on a group layer, like this one, which is a long layer. Uh, and this, uh, when a finger is dragged on a scrolling layer, the child layers will move with the finger. But the group itself will not change position. So maps, message threads, or any large content make great candidates for scrolling. So let's go ahead and try it out on this example. So for example here, I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see, I have a, a long set of cards that are here on the bottom. So I want to make this scrollable vertically. And I also have this uh, these thumb images that I want to make uh, scrollable horizontally. So as you can see here in the preview, I cannot do anything because I haven't done anything scrollable. So I'm going to go ahead and select this group of cards and I'm going to go to vertical and I'm going to make it scrollable. And now it can start scrolling here, but see how it doesn't go all the way to the bottom. It just like bounces right there. So, and that's because I uh, the size of this, it's uh, at this size and the cropping is there and I have to make it the size of the actual artboard of my actual content. But actually I'm going to make it the size of this. That way it this is the edge of the scrolling. And now if I test it out, now I can go all the way to the bottom. And if I wanted to go, see how it's cropping right here? If I wanted to go all the way to uh, below the header, I can go ahead and just change this to the size of this, and now it goes below the header. That's cool, and now that's a, a vertical scrolling, and I want to make a horizontal scrolling on these uh, set of uh, images. So I'm going to select this group, and I'm going to do the same, uh, but it's uh, now on the horizontal axis. So I'm going to make it a scrollable, and if I test it out, see how, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so we can see it. Now I can scroll this, but just the same as the vertical scrolling, it snaps and it doesn't go all the way to the left. And to solve this, I just need to make this a little bit smaller. And I'm going to make this actually the size of this. And now I can scroll all the way to the left and it bounces and it looks pretty cool. So yeah, that's the basic of scrolling. Now I'm going to teach you about how to use paging interaction. And paging is just like scrolling, except it automatically snaps its scroll position to group size increments when the scrolling ends. And uh, I'm going to show you an example of how to do this. Here I have a sketch file where I have a walkthrough uh, screen. As you can see here, let me uh, drag this outside the artboard so you can see. I have three images and I want to be able to scroll through them and snap to the size of the screen when I scroll through them. So I'm going to go to Command Z and I'm going to go to Principle and I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to import my files and I have it here. If I zoom out, I can see these images, images that are there and now I want to add a horizontal paging scrolling over here on the inspector. So I just select that. And now if I go over here, I can start dragging it, but it doesn't snap, it doesn't go all the way. And that's because I haven't, uh, the size of the group is all the way here and I actually want it to be this size, the size of the artboard. And if, now if I drag, it snaps to the size of the artboard magically, which is pretty cool. And obviously the other elements stay uh, uh, fixed since those are not draggable or scrollable. So yeah, you can use paging for image carousels or for home screens or for cards animations and stuff like this and it creates a really cool effects. So yeah. Now let's learn how to add dragon interactions. Uh, and you want to enable dragon on a layer when you like to allow the layer's position to move 
when a touch is held over it. So for example, I want to be able to drag this image. So I'm going to go ahead and here in horizontal, I'm going to go to drag and in vertical, I'm going to go to drag too. And now here in the preview, as you can see, now I can start dragging this element on the X or Y position, vertically and horizontally. And this one, since I haven't done anything to it, I cannot drag it. So I can change that by just selecting it. And then for example, let's do it uh, only horizontally, a drag horizontally. And now it's, bound to just the uh, X position. I can only drag it horizontally, but if I were to uh, make it draggable also vertically, I can just drag it anywhere on the canvas, which is uh, pretty cool. And that's pretty cool, but sometimes you want to do something that is a little bit more useful, like for example, a uh, map. So over here on my sketch file, I have a map already, and I'm going to import it here to principal. I'm going to close this guy, and I'm going to create a new file, and I'm going to import it. And then here, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And here I have this element, and I want to be able to drag the map on the canvas. And to do that, just as the previous example, I can do it by selecting the group, and I'm going to make it draggable horizontally and also vertically. And since I didn't do anything to the header, the header, header will remain static. So I'm going to preview it here. Let's, let me make this a little bit bigger so we can see it. And as you can see, I drag the map around and I can, uh, I can preview a map and all the different elements and on the X or Y position and it's reacting to my touch, which is pretty cool for this kind of prototype.